Welcome back. You're joining me just in time for Operation Fading Tears. It's the alien terror attack in Marseille, France. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and I probably won't know until someone corrects me in the comments like a few days from now. Uh, regardless, we're going in on a map that I'm actually not familiar with the thumbnail here. I've guessed that this might be Street Hurricane. I kind of hope not because that map is very punishing. Oh no, it is Street Hurricane. Yep, that's the cop car there. That's the truck. Ah, uh, shit. Well, anyway, this map's incredibly narrow. This is like... Uh, this is probably what I think is the... I don't want to say worst, because I love all the maps, but it's probably the worst map in the game uh, for XCOM's sake. Anyway, it's uh, it's very dangerous. Uh, you know, uh, it's cool to look at, though. Anyway, let's get down on the ground. Let's see how things are going to go on this one. Big Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. Not a whole lot to say about this one. Uh, Street Hurricane uh, is, like, in my opinion, notorious for being the narrowest map in the game. This is the limits of it. It's just a single uh, two-lane street with a, a community strip in the middle of slight cover. This map is predominantly featuring half cover in these frequent little leapfrog bounds that you have to run through. Um, a lot of the heavy cover can explode, I think. Uh, this car can explode again, I've seen it explode again, although that's on the normal version of the map, not the Terra version. Um, let's look at the bright sides here. The bright sides are this, if we push through this map fast enough we might be able to save a lot of civilians because it's a very short map. This mission will be over like a bolt of lightning. It's going to start quick, and as soon as it starts, it's going to be halfway over. The downsides are there's going to be a lot of alien contact compressed into a very, very small area, and depending on what kind of quality of troops we're facing, this could turn very ugly very fast. It's going to be up to us to try and do the best we can, activate responsibly, uh, and hopefully save as many civilians as possible. Uh, I don't know, this is just going to be a, a harsh slog leapfrogging through poor cover. We're gonna do our best. First move, I'm gonna try and scan if we don't hit contact straight away. Position confirmed. Amazing, we did not hit contact for straight, straight away on Street Hurricane. Battle scanner straight up here. Protect a lot of civilians including this very dapperly dressed man and hopefully reveal some contact. Eyes open. There's your contact. Like I said, this is going to get rough very quickly. Okay. This is your nightmare. You've got civilians surrounding the mechanized targets you need to pound with rockets. This ain't going to be easy. Not with a corporal rocketeer either. But if it was easy, they wouldn't call us. You're gonna be up close to Kem. Heading there now. Oh my god, there's another one on the left. I didn't even see that one. Holy shit. I hope that one doesn't pop into me, that doesn't look good. I didn't even see that one, holy shit. Roger, I've got eyes on. Let's see which one patrols into us first. Good, they're backing off. We need that room. We need that breathing room. And mutons out there as well. Looks like left is going to be our starting contact. AKA the muton, I mean the mech toy we didn't buy us for, of course. Of course it's the one you don't expect. But we have ways of making him talk. As long as the other one doesn't patrol into us as well, this could be a good start for us. Oh god, no, it's gonna be double. Okay, we're going to have to uh, disable the left with suppression while we focus on killing this right one, I think. 
As long as he stops far away from civilians, we can alpha strike the middle mechtoid. Get him, Medve. Shit. This, the this can work. This can still work. This will be okay. Yeah, you guys better run from those mechtoids, because there's not going to be any mercy for civilians who are shielding the enemy. So you got one, two, three, one, two, three. Six on the field. Fuck the sectoids, they can wait. Oh my god, these fucking civvies. Fuck these civvies. Okay, so it's gonna be Shredder straight up on this guy right away. Civvies are just gonna have to watch out for that, I'm afraid. Apparently that won't hit the uh, civilians as much. Whatever. If you say so, Garakorum, I trust you. Start the shred. Medve should be able to solo it, I think. I believe in Medve. Oh, maybe not solo. We'll see. I gave him the AP ammo. If he hits the damn thing, he'll, she should be able to solo it. Particularly with you helping out. What's your chance to hit? Yeah, 91. Why don't we make sure this thing dies, huh? How do we feel about that? Polo target it. Yeah, you're dead. Medfei don't have time for the street hurricane. He is the hurricane. You called down the lightning. Now reap the whirlwind. I'm sorry, thunder. Kill me. Dead. I'm about to start keeping score. I do not have time for you. I've got to save civilians. Okay, meanwhile on the left. Even more shit I don't have time for. I don't think we can kill this one as easily. We don't have heat on the left. No, but we can try. We can certainly try. No one can stop us from trying. We're going to start that off with chem. Do not chem the civilian if you can possibly avoid it. This one probably isn't going to die just uh, just as easily, but we can try. So we're going to shred it. That is incredible damage for a shotgun. Well done, Kyoro. I'm going to throw up that heat grenade. Slowly, please. Heat grenade time. Oh, that fucking sieve is just ruining the world's best grenade. You shithead. Fine. Dick balls. Well, stick it somewhere where you're not gonna hit him, Stolly. Fuck. I'm not your babysitter. Work it out. That'll do. We need this thing taken down. That's a start. But it's not an end. Game is moving in. This thing needs to go down in health. That should do it. Oh no, the shield. Don't shield him. Oh, and we got disc. And we got disc. That's gonna be the next rocket from Karakorum. Now what's your play? You better kill this Merlin. It's shredded, it's yes. Easy money. Well done, honey. That's some good work. Two mechtoids down in essentially one turns of actions. This is the A-team. Alright, that's fine. Waste your turn. Works for me. Just don't panic any of my troops. Oh, bye-bye. Wilhelm scream. Okay, bad panics here could be very bad for the squad. So it's luckily... It's lucky for me the sectoids are not bad panicking me right now. Let's hope that keeps up. That lady better fucking- yeah, you, you fucking run. Oh, she didn't run, are you kidding me? Lady, get the fuck out of there, what are you doing? Oh, you're just not running, are you? 
Okay, we're gonna lock and load. Suppress this thing. Second verse, same as the first. Suppress the overwatch the mechanical units often start with. And get to work. Get to fucking work. Which means W is going to have to move up. Yeah, it's always going to move up too, but W does have to move up. God bless chem grenades, ladies and gentlemen. God bless them. That'll do it. God bless chem grenades. Jerry, get up there. You're our leading lady. Yeah, shred that if you would. Yep, this is looking juicy already. And that lady, that lady's got to be careful. It's alright. This should be good. Okay, Corum, how many kills can you get on your single mission as a corporal? A lot. And you didn't even kill that lady, that's impressive. And there goes the sectoid from the cyber disc blowing up. Absolutely incredible right now. I told you this would be fast, didn't I? Did I lie? I told the damn truth. You better believe it, dog. Alright, what is that? Everything but the sectoid, I think? I think. Well, we better start fucking trying to deal with him, hadn't we? Solid copy. I think that's everything but that sectoid. Kill him before he kills someone else. Nice job. I kind of lost contact, uh, kind of lost count in that clusterfuck, but I think that's everything right now. Call me crazy. I think that's it. Nope, there's one on the left. What about this guy? Game has got no eyes. Just overwatch in case he runs at me. Not that he will, but. Let's be crazy. Nah, you're just gonna kill a sieve. Fucker. Two sectoids, they're just hiding behind that little car there. I totally forgot about him in the clusterfuck that was that mechanized mincemeat massacre in the middle. I would not even remember they were there. This sieve is annoyingly blocking me. That's alright, I can deal with this. I wonder if I'm about to hit a berserker. Questions. On it. Man, that is terrible. I'm not even flanking him. That's all right. Game has got us covered for that other sectoid. Oh, you're not even flanking him. Jesus Christ. Roger that. Somebody stop him. That'll do it. Got no ammo. X-ray down rounds. We are high speed low drag motherfuckers, and even though I could reload, I'm a little scared that car might explode. Nah, the sector would have been hiding about it behind it if it was about to explode. Can't be. I'm on it, Commander. Killer is a big girl, and I don't think it's exploding. Solid copy. Team needs to get ready to keep moving up here, but they're doing a great job so far. Run, sir. Get your shit out of here. I think we got one more pot of mutons at the back by the sound of it, so let's get up there before too many sieves die. Solid copy. 
Yeah, I could reload, I know. People always love to tell me I don't reload enough. Right now, I'd rather have intel. That's a choice I'm making, explicitly. Eyes open. There you go, you got a Berserker. We better prep this turn and then take him next turn. No chem left, which is going to make taking the Berserker run that much harder. But we've got the squad to handle it. The main problem is... These five floaters are going to spring out, and while we're fucking around the Berserker, these five floaters are going to kill a lot of civs. So we've got to be really careful how we do this. That means counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You would not want to go any further than here, I think. No further than the back of the green car. Copy that. Reload what you can, Kyore. This is about to get real. On my way. Real messy. Now, ideally, we would hit them on Overwatch. Ideally, they would path into us and we would hit them on Overwatch, but they might just be a idle pod. Nope, they're pathing. Okay, that's good. Oh, it's two pods, that's even better. We can pull them one at a time here, that's good. So again, one, two, three, this is important. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Up to here. I'm on the move. Dodging out activation. I'm on it, Commander. Okay. Moving out. Prepping for trying to lure him in Overwatch here. It'll be much easier than activating them personally. Trust me. Much easier if they can just pop into us just that little bit. Nah, no, they're just going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Fuckers. And the floater pod's back now too. But at least with the scanner up, we haven't lost any sieves yet, I guess. Move up a few tiles on the left, I might be able to pull them next time they run left. Heading to that location. Oh. We just got the floaters. Now we just got both. I fucked it. One square too many. Now we're in for a rough activation. Gonna have to take that berserker down before he starts murdering people. Draw him towards Kilroy. We can do it, we can take him down, we got the firepower. We have the technology. I'm gonna get flanked by floaters potentially, but I have to move here to lure him. Unless I shoot from this position, but it leaves me committed. Very committed to that. I need to pull him towards Kilroy though. Have to. Have to pull him towards Kilroy. So we're just gonna have to go over this. You're gonna have to pull him, Stolly. Towards Kilroy for the shred. Try not to panic, but I know you will. Because this is not Kawaii. It's okay as long as you don't change. There's your shred. That's some good shredding. Free shot. Now try not to panic yourself, but we got smoke if you do. That's okay, good job. Now somebody finish this guy off. Let's do this. He's shredded now. Are oh, you kidding me? 
Don't be ridiculous. Better apply that holo targeting before anything like that happens again. That was absurd. Keep it going, guys. Keep it fast. Here we go. Alright, not you. It's your ball game, Karakorum. Make it happen. Big mission for the Corporal Rocketeer. Now, with no danger zone suppression, I'd say my best uh, odds here are just to shoot a couple of these fuckers. Good stuff. Let's hit a couple of sips there, too. Yeah, finish him off. Go for it. Ah, did your best. David missed the target. Save a couple saves and get Kyori up in good position, where she can do the most. Rolling. Get to the ship and keep your head down. Gee, Kyori, how come your parents let you have two civilians? No skins. Smoke from W. It's not dense smoke, but it's better than a slap in the face. And let's scare him. All right. Gonna kill a lot of civs is the problem. This is why we don't want to activate them. Oh god. Oh god. It's so bad when you activate this many aliens, not because they're scary, but because they just kill everyone. And there's nothing you can do about it. I've already lost eight civs. Don't have time to panic, Stolly. We've got people to save. Get it together. Get it to fucking together. That's affirmative. I'm sorry, you can't. What now? What do you mean there's no targets available? What? What do you mean? Okay, apparently we just lost line of sight in a hilarious fashion. But I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing at all. Kill him. Exposing ah! Had about enough of this shit. Moving to position. Move, move, we don't have time for this. Incoming fire. Get your head in the game, people. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's my dinner. Hang on. I started the 20 minute dinner before I started this because I was confident would go quickly, but these floaters are slowing it down. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Like I said, I was so sure this mission would be over in around 20 minutes that I put on my dinner, which takes about 20 minutes to cook. And sure enough, we're almost finished here, but we're just mopping up. But the oven is off, I'm not burning my dinner. I know you're worried about me, don't worry. I'm not burning my dinner. Thanks for being worried about me. If Stolly was up, we could grenade that guy's cover really simply, but she's not, so no use crying over spilled milk. Position confirmed. Move your ass. Make yourself useful, W. Jesus, nobody can hit this goddamn floater. Can't kill him if you don't hit it's him. pathetic. That's Thank right, Gamage. Gamage doesn't fuck around like everybody else seems to be doing. Gamage gets the job done. 
Jesus Christ, people, come on. This is obscene. This is obscenely bad right now. You're being obscene. Come on. Better. By God, you get this shit fucking done, Kilroy. More Civ's gonna goddamn die. Because people can't kill a flying floater in the middle of a hectic situation. God damn it! I could have saved all these people. There's another one gone. Terror mission going from adequate to terrible right there. Take these two down. Come on, Kilroy! We don't have time for this shit. You take them the fuck out. I don't have time for that. You keep it going. Guy on the left, he needs to be dealt with. There's another civilian about to die. I didn't ask for excuses. He needs to be dealt with. Come on, move. Fuck, he's got cover. He's gonna kill another one. Hostages dropping like flies. Come on, you sons of bitches, move it. Orders confirmed on the move. Nuovo pronta. Prepare to get. Fuck, no angle. No fucking angle. Shit! That was the only shot we had. Fight, big boy! Fight me! Take me on! No, take the bait, you son of a bitch! Look out! Motherfucker! You're gonna pay for that! You motherfucker! Another day, another successful operation. God damn it. Too many f fucking civs died on that one. That last activation, it was a tile off. I'm weaker at counting tiles diagonally. It's harder to tell. It's supposed to be 18 margin for error linear, but when you go diagonal, it's about 12. But I get shitty at counting when it's not quite 45 degrees diagonal. One tile off, we might be about 7 or 8 civs better in the green. Instead, those floaters got activated and a lot of people died. <sighs> Shit. We didn't leave anything to chance? No. Paid off. Excellent work, Commander. No, Bradford, it wasn't excellent. You don't understand. It wasn't excellent at all. Give Medvey extra conditioning because it's bullshit. Stole he can get. Repair. Excellent. We gotta do better on our next terror mission. That wasn't good enough. Not gonna not nearly good enough.
Remember, we will be watching. Oh god, France. Alright, well, it's time for an operation of the covert variety, I think. Positive There's your cell working away. Exalt cell location verified. Gonna wait eleven hours for Kiro to come back on station and then XCOM's finest Oh not Kiro, sorry, Drake. Uh, XCOM's finest will be off for another undercover James Bond escapade. Eventually, I hope Kiori gets back into the role. She is the born operative, but Drake's been doing a really good job ever since Kiori got put in the sick bay, so... I'm gonna skip for that. Meanwhile, I think I'm just saving my dollars for uh, advanced aerospace concepts to finish. I know, France, I know. You had to close all your baguette shops because of what happened on Street Hurricane. I know, it's terrible. Meanwhile, back in the real world. Raider, eh? Alright. Let's go... Defensive on the big man. And we'll pull a tracking module if we have to. We're in pursuit. Closing on target. Yeah, that's looking pretty shitty, sir. That's pathetic. Congrats, you hit him once. That is not what I expect from a captain. Let's go balance on the next one. Is actually disgusting. Enemy is padlocked. Nearing strike range. That's a bit better. See, that's what I was expecting the first time. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Good God, did that really give me two hundred dollars, or am I blind? Do you really get two hundred dollars cash bounty from? Sh Gee, I should, sh I should just shoot them down all the time. That's incredible. That's actually amazing. I didn't realize I got that much money from it. That can't be right. That's insane. All right, eight hours. Oh, we got another one. This shit don't stop. Let's go aggressive on the zero killer. Shoot that sucker down. We have eyes on the bandit. And again, we have track module if we want to extend this engagement. Depends on how it goes. <laughs> no need. Okay. First, we're going to send off Drake. Drake, you are the woman to do it. So, yep, you're going to be going sprinter and you're going to be covert operating all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yes you are. Here's your laser pistol. Here's your bulletproof vest, just like James Bond gets. Uh, flashbang or alien grenade for your last one? Usually flashbang, don't I? Pretty certain. Yeah. Usually a flashbang. All right, off you go. XCOM operative deployed against Exalt position in Australia. Meanwhile, crash scout to go out on. Riparian. All right. Got anyone we need to skip for? Just a quick skip necessary here to get Ferret on the case. Oh, shit, here we go. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go aggressive. Bangs out. Is this gonna be another week of smalls or am I not gonna shoot this one down? Let's find out. On one more hit, and I'm pulling you out. Contact detected. Time zone. This is literally what you do. Get him. Engaging Save that satellite. Bogey. Do not miss. Nearing strike range. Good job. Okay. We got two UFOs now. So this just got even more interesting. But Verit is ready for the first. This was the first one, right? Okay, that's gonna leave me with Morgan. Morgan, Kamikaze, Squint, Iku, Awo. I got my work cut out for the next one, okay. But we're good up to, just remember we're good up to Iku for the next one. I can always check tape, okay. Let me get up my squad for the first small, and we're gonna be going on another one right afterwards.
Okay, things pretty standard here. We're bringing along a wonder rookie PFC Cameron McDonald to get a second shot at leveling up after had that excellent job she done on the, uh, well, on McDonald's farm. But with Petite on the squad with repair, she won't need to be doing arc thrower duty this mission, so that's good for her. Uh, we're essentially trying to get some captures, get some meld, and get some level ups uh, all at the same time, as we always are. Uh, Organ on the mission as a babysitter against Mech, also because he's almost about to hit Gunnery Sergeant. Because I have two small UFOs back to back, also anybody who I wanna, who misses out on a promotion, I can exhaust them, get a nice economical exhaust like I talked about during the last string of UFOs where you exhaust right after you've done a mission to get the least possible downtime. Uh, and I can try and power level any of these guys that I feel like if they don't quite hit the next rank, but uh, a lot of them are really close, a lot of them should be hitting the next rank after this mission. And if not, I'll make that choice in the second uh, mission if I need to. Apart from that, no smoke and mirrors on Vegabond, but she's bringing the flashbang and chem grenade regardless. Another chem grenade on Cameron McDonald to make up for it, plus a battle scanner to make up for the fact that Burn Cycle does not have battle scanners yet. Varied babysitting us from afar with his sniper rifle as always, fighting some aliens this time instead of Exalt. Uh, APMO on Zim, I've been liking the effects of it, it's been pretty cool ever since I got squad size 8 and the... Uh, the medic comes in and the gunner doesn't have to take a make it anymore. I've been liking the effects of APMO on the gunner. It's been pretty cool. Certainly liked it in the last mission on Medvay. Um, yeah, that's the idea really. Shadow Ray on Petite to make those captures a bit easier. And that's it. We've got our equipment. We've got our tanking instinct. Uh, instead of taking Shredder because we've got plenty of shredding and explosive power with Organ and Pete and everyone. Uh, he's taking the reinforced armor so if there's any awkward capture attempts that require tanking, instinct is there to handle it. That's it. It's as simple as that. Let's get out there. Let's bring home as many as these, uh, as many of these MRFers as we possibly can. You know what? One thing I will do. I like to stick an extra shotgun on the medic when you've got a little bit lighter contact, like a little bit lighter squad when you haven't got a, an infantryman on on the squad proper. Because in case you run into a berserker, helps to have that extra oomph. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Let's get out there. Strike one, prepare for landing. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. The downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. If we can secure the crash site, we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties. All right, Operation Burning Apollo is the name of it. Join me next time for another small UFO, the first of two back to back. Uh, until then, have a good one.